Right, here we go. How's everybody doing? You guys are hanging out with the world's greatest living artist. World's greatest living artist. Yeah. I'm going to do a painting right now. I'm going to do a painting. I'm going to do a painting right now. I'm going to do a painting. Here we go. Wham. Bam. There it is. All right, let's do this, guys. Let's do a little painting right here. Let's get it closer to you. Okay. Those of you who haven't seen my 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 oil painting demos, here we go. Look, I'm gonna start with a number four brush, numero cuatro, number four. Okay, round tip brush. Look at that. Got paint everywhere. I'm like a mechanic of paint. Uh here we go. I'm gonna use some black. I like to use Mars Black, nice and creamy. And I'm gonna start my drawing, okay? Hopefully I don't need to explain the drawing. It'll be self-explanatory. All right. And then let's do, yeah, I think that's good. Something like that. Here we go, here we go. And now I'm gonna jump onto a bigger brush. I'm gonna jump onto bigger things in life. Bigger brush. And here we go. Nice and creamy. So one of the things that I found out here when I paint is that you want to take time, but you want to take so much time with it. And I think, again, I said this before, this is how you can acquire certainty. You don't want to, you don't want to be doing this because that'll, that'll cut the flow. Okay. You want to be able to keep the brush on the canvas, okay? Yeah, keep the brush on the canvas. It's very important, muy importante. Very, very important, okay? You don't keep the brush on the canvas, what happens is that you start losing certainty. Because now you don't know what to do. So you start trusting, you stop trusting yourself. That's what happens. Okay? Here's something that I should have done, but I'm going to do it again. It's making this line thicker because I'm going to eat them with the brush, right? I'm going to be eaten. There is no right or wrong way of doing it. It's just doing it. And right or wrong is just a matter of taste. Just like good or bad. Check it out. All right. Look at that. All right. And of course you can do as much as, you know, whatever, when you're painting artwork like this. There's all sorts of things that I like to do. But I try to keep the painting, the, paint, the brush, I try to keep it as much as possible on the canvas. 
This is something that took me a good time to understand. I didn't understand it in the beginning. And that was a, a bit of a learning curve, a bit of a painful process at times. See, because what happens is that you stop trusting yourself. And when you stop trusting yourself, then you're no longer painting, you're thinking. Now I can come back with it. With my first brush, I can come back with that brush. And I can do all sorts of things, right? I can add some dimension with color, using color, right? And the, the color is traditions. You can add dimension using color. It doesn't have to just be value. It doesn't just have to be uh, it doesn't have to be volume either. You don't have to you don't need to create volume by by uh, light and dark values you can create volume just with color itself with where you put the brush how much you press on it how much you move it around this is something that i like to do personally And again, it means different things, right? To different people. Play in different ways. Someone told me the other day that true art should take longer to make. Not as fast as I make it. <laughs> Poor fool. <laughs> Insolent fool. <laughs> people, people still get stuck on the ideas of what true art is and on and on and on. All that, all that bullshit. Really what matters is that you, you enjoy it and, and people that, that you show it to enjoy it as well. Or, or it means something. I don't know. It could mean something. And it's just a play of color at some point. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little color symphony. You're creating different effects with it. Right. Something like that. And it's the most simple way. Thank you so much, guys. Let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on here. This is a very, very simple approach. Because this is not the end of the all painting, right? But this is this is how I do some of my oils. Some of my stuff, I like to keep it super simple. It's a bit of a minimalist way of using color. The economy is so simple that you know it's the economy of, of brush strokes is so simple that it's uh it really it, it it derives from drawing i've i've said this in many other videos you, you want to get your drawing first um it doesn't mean that you, you shouldn't or you can't or whatever you want to get their drawing first if the drawing's not first that's that's when that's when artists have problems uh when I coach artists or or, or I, I mentor artists to to learn how to paint, uh, 
I'm doing a little bit of that now. Um, I've noticed that that the drawing is not there, so that's why they have a hard time. Like they they don't they don't trust themselves. Like how I was telling you guys the other day. Let me show you. Those of you who watched the other day, I was telling you guys about about you know drawing figures and whatnot. I find it hard to keep it simple with oil. Yeah, I mean it's it's a little intimidating. It's a little intimidating, you know, but. You know, you, you, you want to get your drawing right first, you know. You want to get your drawing right first. Whatever that is, it doesn't have to be this style, but you want to get that down first. Because it's going to give you, or at the same time as you're practicing, because it's going to give you uh, altitude in the painting. Uh, I, think, I think it was uh, Dominique in Angre or Ingre. The French painter, class, neoclassicist painter, who said you can't paint if you don't draw. Uh, I used to be against that. Uh, I used to be like, no, dude, this guy's crazy, whatnot. But the more I paint, I, I, I'm in my studio about 12 hours a day at least. I draw a lot. A lot of people don't know that. I draw a lot. Uh, they see me painting here and whatnot, but I'm always drawing. And I took it to heart when I started reading about John Singer Sargent making it a point to always sketch. As a matter of fact, he said, you can never do enough sketches. Sketching is, is, should be the thing you do most. And I used to not understand that, but when I started practicing it, I've been practicing it for years now, I started realizing why they said that. There is a muscle that you are, that you are constantly tuning. You know, you're constantly working it and you're tuning it. And that muscle allows you to, you know, you could be a great landscape painter, right? But if you don't, if if you don't, let's say that you want to exhibit or you want to make a living doing it or whatever. If you don't have a big enough audience, you know, and you don't have enough skill with your landscapes, whatever that is, right? Like like put enough skill in there. Um, you start going to start looking repetitive, very repetitive, and as we all know, repetitive art. Is, uh, is good for museums. Uh, it does okay in galleries. The problem is that that the reason why it does okay is because they've never seen it before. So, you know, you show something and then you show it again. And if you're very repetitive with the same, the same thing you're doing and you don't, you're not really growing, uh, you keep doing the same landscape or you keep doing the same portrait or whatever. If you're not really growing, uh, it, it, forget about the marketplace. It, it lowers your, your belief in yourself. It starts affecting you. I know because I was stuck there for a while. I used to be a portrait artist uh, before I before I before I I, uh, I went online. Uh, I used to I used to do portrait painting. Really good, uh, a really cool thing. It's a really good gig. It pays very well. But uh, I noticed that I had a hard time going out of my comfort zone so when someone asks me can you paint this horse for me or can you paint that yes I can do it but but I had a hard time getting out of my comfort zone so so uh so I started I started learning about constantly drawing and and this is one of the things that I'm, I'm showing uh people now look it's it, if if you're if you paint abstract work or other type of work you don't need to you know you don't need to draw but if you if you start to paint like little still lives, uh, landscapes that are more definite, like they're they're more defined, um, or you're painting faces, or you're painting figurative work, your your drawing is going to come out. And unless you really just become very famous, then don't worry about it. But if you don't become very famous, it's, you're gonna have a hard time with it. You're gonna have a hard time with with people just not not really caring much because the, the skill is not there. You know. The skill needs to be there, and it's something that I've, I'm passing on to other people now because I didn't I didn't really understand that. Check it out, bam! You gotta you gotta have some caffeine too, <laughs> or whatever you drink. Uh, but yeah. So if it wasn't for my drawing, I couldn't I I wouldn't be able to to feel comfortable painting um, in this type of this type of work like 
like you can paint it, but it'll take you, it'll take you, you know, I don't know, hours or days or whatever, because, you know, what, what, whatever uh, type of painter you are. But in order to do something almost spontaneous, I, I call it, I call it uh, like a jam session, you know, musicians jam out, uh, improvise. This is very much the painting that I do. It's very, it's, it's, I improvise with it. It's kind of like a jam. Uh, it'll, it'll feel very hard. You're going to be like, oh my God, where, I need to have a reference photo. I need to have a model. I need to, you're going to be always subjected to that because you don't practice drawing. You're always going to be going back to that. You're going to be afraid of, of going out of your comfort zone. Here's some. Uh, hydrangeas that I painted. I think that's what you call them, right? It's blue flowers. But uh, <clears throat> you're gonna you're gonna be having a, a hard time because the the drawing is not practical. And this doesn't mean that you have to be like you have to draw um, any specific way. You could be an abstract, you know, artist, and your your drawings look abstract uh, or or realism or whatever. But you have to get the skill in there. I keep stressing this because. Look, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of a I'm gonna show you a little bit right now. I'll show you what I mean by that. So here's a here's a canvas, right? And I'm gonna be doing courses for 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 people because I know a lot of people wanna well not a lot but some of the people that that watch what I do want to learn. So this is what I mean by, by getting the drawing first. Um, so I'm going to start drawing, right? There's some people walking right here. If you don't get the drawing first done, you're going to start um, second guessing everything you do. You start second guessing everything you do, and and I think that that's that's part of the problem with artists. They second guess too much because um, because they don't trust their drawing. You know, again, it doesn't have to be like mine. It doesn't have to be like anyone's. It's just it's just drawing. You know, but you're gonna start second guessing yourself. One way that I learned how to draw quick is that I practice a lot with charcoal and pen and uh and what helped me paint this way uh was ink 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 painting but it was you know it was a uh, in, in, in no way am i saying that i'm a master at it i'm a master at, at, at me right i'm not saying like compare compare me to someone else but i, I put in my my time and so what I'm saying is that look, it it gave me it gave me the 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 assurance assurance that I needed, reassurance that I needed. It made me feel capable. And I know that that is something that a lot of artists um, have a hard time with. They don't they don't feel capable. They don't feel capable. They they. If they're gonna paint an apple, they're like second guessing and second guessing, and they're thinking about it. And they're thinking about it, and, and and I couldn't put my finger on it when I started coaching people. You know, some people started visiting my studio or whatever. I couldn't put my finger on it. What what was the problem? And then I realized, oh, okay, they don't feel comfortable drawing. That's really the problem. It's not the painting so much. Okay, it's not really the painting so much. Is that they don't feel, uh, yeah. Guilty of that, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I've been guilty of that. Yeah, I think, I think just about every artist can, can resonate with that. And you know, I was, I was telling people, look, this is how you do it. This is how you do some of the drawings or whatever, some paintings. And they're like, oh, okay. So where do I start again? And and then I realized, oh, okay, okay. You you just don't feel comfortable with with drawing. 
you started painting before drawing and that if you want to do figurative stuff and whatnot it can be a challenge if you're an artist you could go years not really understanding what your problem is you could go years not really not really figuring that out you know you could go a whole lifetime not figuring it out and and you know that's that's part of the it's part of the the challenge of being an artist you, you could go for a long time and not realize where the kink is. There's a kink somewhere. For me, uh, in the beginning was color. Right when I started, it was color. I had to understand color theory. It was one of the things that I had to understand. I had to understand brush stroke because otherwise it's just a constant uh, adjusting. And if you're painting and adjusting as you're painting constantly, maybe you haven't practiced enough. Because that's, that's in the beginning. So I know I paint loose. I know I do very loose work. And I, and I, I show you guys that. But there, is, there, there was practice before that. There was years of practice before that. So I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to give the impression that because I say don't think about it. Uh, just go for it. I don't want to give the impression. Because some people have called me out on it. They're like, well, you told me not to think about it. I'm like, yeah, but, but you have to practice. You know, like... Like what I'm talking about, don't think about it, is if you already if you already know how to paint, if you already know how to draw, then drop the thinking and let the let the painting come out. But if you don't know how to do it, you, you gotta put in the practice first. I mean it's obvious, you know. I thought I was being obvious, but I guess not. <laughs> Someone told me, you told me not to think about it. And I'm like, well, yeah, but you have to you have, but you have to learn the skill set first. And and I think that that's why some people have a, a hard time with it. They haven't learned the skill set. And and they're like, oh, how do I paint an apple? And they're like second guessing how to paint an apple or how to paint how to paint something. It's because they they never really they they weren't uh, maybe they weren't artists and they just kind of picked up the thing and they're like, I'm gonna try this. And it's totally cool. That's how everybody starts. But you got to put in the time. You got to put in the time. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. So I'll leave you guys with that. Uh, let me show you the the painting one last time. That I did. Where did I put that painting? Over here. So you guys can see the texture and whatnot. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. I'm the world's greatest living artist, actually, for that matter. Bam! Look at that. And then I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, I got a. I got a. I got a big art studio, over 3,000 square feet. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna be doing there. Super awesome. Look at that. Where are you rowing, little buddy? Where are you going? Rowing, rowing, rowing. All right, guys. Take care. Uh, bless you. Uh, and be cool. All right? Adios.